Hi there, it's Minecraft Grand, the geeky Minecrafter, coming at you with another video. And I'm sorry to say this one's kind of a complaint video. I've opened my mind to the public, and what's happened is, despite my telling the people that are coming in what the rules are, uh, they aren't really following the rules. So I've done a couple of things. Let me show you what I've done. Uh, one is I've put together a chest that's unlocked, a book inside which contains the rules, I expect you to, if you're going to be mining uh, here in the mine, to open them and read them. Let me reiterate, each slit is three high, one wide. Please fill all the voids with cobblestone so there are no cutouts. The torches are on the right going away from the main mine shaft so that at any given time, if in any shaft, you know if you're heading towards the exit or away from the exit. Torches are every five to seven blocks apart, no more than that, otherwise mobs spawn in there. Please mark any lava that you find and you don't fix with cobblestone and torches. Uh, that way somebody is less likely to open up a, you know, a hole and, and get lava in the face. Each slit is four blocks away from the last one. In other words, there are three blocks between each one. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, if you, know, if you can't follow these very simple rules, I'm, I'm not going to be able to continue to keep it open to the public. Oops, let me put this back in here. It's good grief. Oh. Almost forgot. Okay, so I do expect you to read that and follow that. Let me, let me show you what I have found. I've been down here fixing for nearly an hour, and I'm nowhere near done. I don't know who it is that's doing this, um, but I bet TMH or, or one of the other admins will be able to help me figure it out. I don't want to, you know, be grumpy. I don't want to be this way, but, you know, I've come down here and almost gotten killed a couple of times because mobs are being allowed to wander in here. Uh, one thing I didn't put in the rule book is I do want you to close it up with a top and a bottom block. I did put the rule book down here as well. So let me show you what I'm finding. Um, let's take a peek right in here. Okay, I fixed... Okay, here's a perfect example. This one's not three high. Okay. The torches are not on the right, leaving, you know, going away from the mine. So when I enter a mine, I always put the first one down so I know by looking back where they go. The voids are not being filled. And it's not three high. Okay, now I know it, it may not seem like much to you guys, okay, and you're in here, you're, you're just mining, I've got a very well-organized mine, furnace is set up and open to the public, you know, it's a good place to be, but you guys are going to ruin it for everyone if you can't, um, if you can't follow a few simple rules, okay. I don't understand what this is every every other one that's just that's just crazy okay so again it's not three high now there are times that I go only too high like if I'm going under lava but I generally mark it or put a sign that indicates that's why it's that that low I like doing three high because I get a better um, a better vision of what's in the mine, what's going on. Um, as you can tell, with it being three high, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks that I can see in addition to the one I've pulled out. So it gives me maximum bang for my buck, if you will. Now, whoever was up in here, um, they opened up some lava, uh, and they just, let's see, I I think it's here, right? They just left it there. Okay, so it's literally can flow and, and uh, you know, it's, it's right beside it. Now, the fact that there's cobbles or there's obsidian here was kind of a hint, right? But um, I prefer it if you mark it and or fix it, ideally fix it. Uh, now, I do recommend going with gravel. Uh, let me show you why. Even if it's like three high, you know, or, or three um, three deep, if you will. Let's see if I can find some here. Oh, I wish I hadn't done that, but... Okay. 
So do you see that that pool of lava right there? If you drop lava or drop gravel in, it'll fall until it gets to the bottom and then it'll fill up. So now there's no lava blocks right there. So if I do this where the lava is, I'm able to actually get rid of the lava just like this. Okay, now I can open this up. I can, I can go gather it back up. I thought that might be there. Okay, now ideally you have to get above it uh, for this to work, but you just come in with some gravel and boom, you know, done. Now I do, uh, I do fix all the lava that uh, I encounter because I, I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to accidentally you know, fall into it. I don't want to be pushed into it. Stupid zombies will sneak up behind you and do that when you least expect it. But doing this this way means that um, I don't have to worry about uh, I don't have to worry about the lava. I don't have to worry about encountering it accidentally. Uh, I don't have to worry about falling in it because it was you know hidden behind something or I knocked a block out and boom there I am. So again, it's just you know I I prefer to not have to worry about it. I prefer to work on it when I have found it so that there's no surprises later. Now if you've got a big area like this, a huge area, I don't expect you to fill that in. Light it up well. Open it up, you know, so the lighting works and uh, you can leave it. That's fine. Just it needs to be lit up well. I cannot tell you how many times I've come in to one of these mine shafts and had a creeper right there ready to blow me up. Now I can tell by looking that the torches are on the left, which means that way is the mine, you know, the main mine shaft, and this way is headed towards the front of the mine. Now I hear him. Where is he? Okay, I'm, I'm going to keep making this video. I, I want to keep it short. Uh, again, it's a complaint video, so I, I really I hate even having to make it, but. Uh, I've got to do something or I'm going to have to close the mine and I, I don't want to close the mine. Too many people are relying on it. Um, so let's let's do it right, okay guys? Uh, torches on the right, moving away. Three high. I spend all my time down here fixing. Instead of actually mining. And that's not fair to me either. See, this, this area gets dark enough to allow mobs to spawn. Now at the front of the mine I do have a, a slit going all the way across so whoever just stops, you know, I don't know if they stop because they got into lava or if they stop because they were just bored uh, but I prefer it if, if you start a slit to go all the way down to the front of the mine. Oops. Um. Okay, now here's a perfect example. That's lava on the other side of that uh, cobblestone. So I'm going to put a uh, torch on that. I'm going to put one above it too. And again, that indicates there's lava right there. It's not to be confused with my lighting the tunnel. It is, oops, there's another one. It is sorry. <laughs> you know, you get to you get around lava, and it's it's hard to think. Uh, this is not about lighting. This is about indicating there's lava behind those bricks. Okay, and that's what I mean by marking them with a torch and cobblestone. Okay, so I, I'm gonna head back um, and end this video again. I, I I hate having to make it, but it's really getting frustrating down in here. Let's see, this is an area. Oh my goodness. That scared me. Is he right over here? Oh yeah. See, perfect example. Okay, I should not have to encounter mobs in my mine shaft. That's just ridiculous. One of the reasons I light it up the way I do is to prevent this from happening. So, please help me out if you're using my mine. Uh, three high. Four blocks in between, torches on the right leaving the main mine shaft, 
block the front and back of the mine like this, okay, so that even if they're wandering around these halls, they can't get to the main mine shaft. I've come out here and had a creeper blow up on me right here. You know, I come down the stairs, turn the corner, and there's the creeper he blew up. So, <clears throat> I hope you'll, uh, I hope you'll respect the mining rules. If not, I'm going to have to ask you not to mine in here. Uh, I do want to keep it open to the public, so let's not have that happen, okay? Till the next time, and I, I do have a video coming up very shortly. I'm going to be finishing the farmhouse. Uh, I hope you'll stay tuned for that. This is Minecraft Grand, the geeky Minecrafter, signing out. Happy mining! Mm -hmm.